Welcome to Shale's Kitchen, home of good food and good memories. Glazed beef short ribs. That's what's cooking in Shale's Kitchen today. For my beef short ribs, I'm marinating in a combination of kosher salt, coarse ground black pepper, fresh ground garlic, and Worcestershire sauce. After mixing all the ingredients thoroughly, I'm going to cover the bowl with plastic wrap and marinate it overnight in the refrigerator. After refrigerating overnight, I'm going to bring my ribs to room temperature before cooking. Place the ribs in a baking pan bone side up with the marinade. Place the pan on the center rack of the oven and bake for about 30 minutes or more until you get it the way you like your meat done. Baste the meat halfway through the cooking process. This is the glaze that we'll be using for the beef short ribs. And all I did was combine three tablespoons each of sesame garlic sauce, hoisin sauce, chili soy sauce, and sweet chili sauce. And to that I added two tablespoons each of tomato ketchup and red wine. So just stir all the ingredients together until they're well blended. And you know this is something that you can definitely make in advance if you like. You can do it the day before, even several days before, and all you would need to do is just store it in an airtight container and just put it in the refrigerator until you're ready to use. Remove the ribs from the oven and then turn the oven up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the beef short ribs in a stainless steel bowl. See the meat fell off of this bone. If that happens, not to worry. It's all good. Then pour the glaze all over the ribs. Just turn them up a little bit to make sure all of them are nice and well coated in the glaze. Place the glazed ribs on a foil lined baking sheet. Return to the oven for about three to five minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Glazed beef short ribs. So I decided the best thing to do would be to just go in with my fingers and I abandoned my knife and fork. Um, this is a piece that fell off the bone. It's nice and tender and the glaze has a really nice flavor. Delicious. Thank you for spending your time with me and I look forward to seeing you next time on Shale's Kitchen. Home of good food and good memories.